Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paul Duse. I'm a professional wedding photographer and I'm based in Ghana. And in today's video, we are going to dive into the five softwares that I think every photographer should get and I use every single day to run my wedding photography business. So without much ado, let's dive right into it. So the first software is Fast Draw Viewer. Fast Draw Viewer is basically a software that is used to cull a lot of pictures like very 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 fast so if you are a wedding photographer like me you already know that coming back home with about two thousand three thousand pictures or thousand pictures those are a lot of pictures and you have to go through and then eliminate the bad ones from it to do this you need a software that can do that for you very fast if not you'll be spending a lot of time just deleting pictures and to be honest with you i personally i hate curling and i'm sure most photographers out there to hate curling so I did some research and I came across this wonderful software called Fast Draw Viewer, which I've been using for the past two to three years now. And it has been amazing. Compared to Lightroom, which uh, some of you might already be using, this software is very fast. Let's jump into it and let me show you how it works. So this is a wedding I shot recently, um, this, just this week. And as you can see, we have about 1098 pictures over here and these are all the raw files so let's say i want to go through and then sort out these pictures all i do is i just go through with the arrow key so you can see how fast you are able to scroll to this image let's bring it full screen you can see how fast i'll be able to move through these images all right so if i want to select these pictures for editing in lightroom all i do is i'll go there and then by clicking one on a particular image, I'll be able to mark it as one. I have already set my rating system so that when I click on one, it will rate the image one star. And so all the images that I've rated one, I'll just go back there, select all of them, and then delete them. So let's say, for instance, I want to call these images. So when I go through and I select one, as you can see at the bottom right here, you can see that it's named, it's rated one. So I'll just be clicking on one, one one for images that i think i don't need so after all is said and done all i will do is go back here to this section over here where you see the smp written just click on it and it will select all the images i've rated one so i can just select all of them i don't want this image to be removed from this folder so i'll just right click on it and then move to rejected by so doing, all the images I've rated one will be sent to a specific folder that is named rejected. All I'll have now is all the pictures that I want to send to Lightroom. So to send to Lightroom, I can just click, right click on the image I want to send to Lightroom, then run program, select Adobe Lightroom Classic, and that's it. I can go into Lightroom and then do this editing. Now this takes us to the next software, which is Adobe Lightroom. So let's open Lightroom over here. So this is their catalog. I'll just click on it. And you realize that Lightroom will open the image I've selected. And then from here, all the pictures, if I want to import all these pictures, I've already sorted them out using Fast Draw Viewer. So I'll just click on check all and then click on the import and I'll import into Lightroom. You can see I can just go through and then make some changes to the photos. So I edit pictures minimally, so I just apply some very few details to it, and I'm done. Then the third one is Photoshop. So if I'm done with all that I need to do in Lightroom, then I will export those pictures that I want to retouch and go to Photoshop and retouch the images from there. So let's open Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop. If I want to retouch any image, I can just go drag the image to Photoshop and then do my retouching in photoshop so photoshop is basically what i use to retouch all my images fast row viewer is what i use to um, select the pictures for editing in lightroom and then lightroom is what i use to export all the edited pictures that i've edited already edited in lightroom and then move them to photoshop to continue my retouching so the next software i use here is jpeg mini now jpeg mini is um, simply an app that helps you reduce the size of your like the file size of your jpeg files without actually decreasing the quality of the picture at least to the human eye you might not be able to see any difference so in jpeg menu what i do is i come to this side all the pictures i've exported 
I'll just come and then drag the folder into it. So let's say, for instance, we want to use this folder, JPEG, let's search, JPEG Mini. As you can see over here, the file size is 146 megabytes, which is a lot for eight pictures. I don't know how to show you, maybe YouTube or Gallery will reduce the quality, but all I know for sure is that the quality I'll be getting after I pass it through JPEG Mini is pretty much the same as the original size. So here we have 146 megabytes. I'll just drag this into JPEG Mini and then watch it do its magic. So it will remove all the unnecessary data from the image. And you can see how much data is being saved from these images. So 140 something, now we will be down to like a lot less than that. And the quality will be almost the same. You print it and then it will be the same. From here, we are having about 63% saved. So let's go back and check the size of this. Now we have 68.4 megabytes. That is a lot less space than usual. One other way of me using this application is I shoot JPEG and RAW. So once I get back home, I'll just drag all the JPEG images into this software, the JPEG Mini, so that it will reduce the size. And from there, I'll just automatically upload to Google Drive by dragging it into the Google Drive folder and it will back up online. So should in case I misplace the RAW files, all I have to do is fall on there. JPEGs have already uploaded and that should be enough for me to deliver to clients. Half a loaf is better than none. So me submitting the JPEG is better than me losing all. So the last software that I'll be discussing in this video is Google Drive. I've already mentioned this, but Google Drive is very, very useful. So Google Drive is a web application and also you can download it and install onto your desktop. So this is the web version here that I've opened in the Chrome browser. As you can see, I can just open any folder that I like. So 2021 weddings, I have all of them arranged neatly here. And you can see the weddings that we've shot over here. So what I'll do is, if I want to deliver to a client, I'll just select the folder, right click it, and then copy the link and share with the client. So that way, I've my file securely saved on the server and the client can almost always access it at all the time. So Google Drive is what I use to back up all the JPEGs that I've already compressed from the JPEG Mini. And those are online until I'm done editing the full pictures to deliver to a client. So once I deliver to the client, I can go back there and then delete them from Google Drive. So we have the desktop app as well. So to access the desktop, I have a folder which is Google Drive. So I can just go to my drive and you can see almost everything that is in the web application, like everything, not almost, is already here. So I can just open the folder that I want. So maybe 2021 weddings. And you can see I have backups upon backups. Let me open one. So this is the backup. This is good enough. I can just, these are all JPEG, which is opening in a fast draw viewer. I can just automatically deliver this should in case I misplace the original files. As you can see, this quality is good enough to be delivered. So I can just deliver that. But once I edit the raw files and exported them and deliver to the client, then I'll come back and then just delete the backup folder from the Google Drive. You have 15 gigs free once you have a Google account. So you can just start by using that. And in the future, if you feel that Google Drive is good for you, you can just upgrade at any time. So I'll link the website to this software in the description below. So you can go below and then check it out. So we are at the end of this video. These are the five softwares that I use every single day. I use FastDraw Viewer, then I move to Lightroom, then to Photoshop, then I JPEG Mini and Google Drive. So if you found this video useful, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. If there is a software that you use that you think um, we should know about, I will be very glad to hear from you. Please leave it in the comment section below. If there is something that you've learned from this video and you want to share with the world, please leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to see more videos like this. Peace. Stay safe.